Canucks fans, have you felt the buzz in the air? Brock Boser is making waves this season, and it's not just about his scoring prowess. As he leads the team in goals and showcases a newfound determination, the questions about his contract extension are heating up. Could this be the turning point we've all been waiting for? Stick around as we dive into the details of his incredible start and what it could mean for his future in Vancouver. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to stay in the loop with all things Canucks. Brock Boser is making waves this season, and I don't think I'm alone in feeling excited about what this means for the Vancouver Canucks. After an impressive start, he's leading the team in goals and showing that he's ready to prove his worth, especially coming off that challenging blood clot situation. You know, it's not just about scoring. It's about how he's scoring. He's evolved his game, moving away from the perimeter to get dirty near the net. That's what we need to see more of from our players. In just six games, Boser has already netted for goals. His shooting percentage is off the charts at 28.6%, and he's tied for the points lead with six. It's clear he's taken the coaching staff's advice to heart, parking himself in the right spots and capitalizing on opportunities. Just look at his third-period power play goal against the Blackhawks. That redirect was pure instinct, and it showcased his growth as a player. Canucks head coach Rick Tochett highlighted this well. Boser knows where to be, and that's a skill that can't be overlooked. Now, let's talk about his contract situation. As a fan, I feel a mix of anticipation and nervousness. Boser's performance this season gives him leverage for a contract extension, and rightly so. He's not just a goal scorer anymore. He's becoming a complete player, someone who can change the game in crucial moments. But as much as I want to see him locked in for the long term, I can't help but wonder, are the Canucks going to pull the trigger on that extension? Or will they wait to see if this hot streak continues? You know, it's a balancing act. On one hand, you want to reward a player who's clearly putting in the work and showing his potential. On the other hand, you never want to overcommit too early. I'm honestly torn here. Is it the right move to extend him now? Or should we wait to see him sustain this level of play? I'm leaning towards securing his future with the team, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. As we watch Boser continue to develop, there's a ripple effect on the team's future. If he keeps this up, he could be a cornerstone for years to come, which, let's face it, we desperately need as Canucks fans. We've seen too many seasons where we've struggled to find that consistent offensive threat. Boser's emergence could finally be the turning point we've been waiting for. And let's not forget about the connection he has with Travis Konechny. The two are neck and neck in production, and it's this rivalry that could push both of them to new heights. How often do we see players elevate their game when they have someone to compete against? It's exciting to think about what that means for our lineup and our chances of making a playoff push this season. So, I ask you Canucks fans, do you believe this is the best path forward for the team? Are we finally seeing the pieces come together? Or are we setting ourselves up for disappointment down the line? I genuinely want to hear your opinions on this. What are your expectations for Boser this season? Do you think he can keep this momentum going? Or are you feeling a bit skeptical? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's have that debate. Your insights mean a lot to me, and they can help shape how we view the future of this team. Don't forget to like this video, share it with fellow Canucks fans, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates. You won't want to miss a single moment of the action. And hey, remember to hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with every new video we post. Together, let's keep this conversation going as we cheer on our team.